It's very overwhelming. It's very emotional. I feel very thrilled that they love it, put enough love in that to make it really the way it was. It truly is exactly the way it was then. And I, I must say, it was, it's a very, very emotional, very thrilling thing. And it's wonderful that the world can now come and visit this place and see this, see what this great man did. He, yeah, you know, he was humble. He, he didn't have a fancy office. It was just a simple little office with his kids on the walls and nothing, no big to do. And that's where he was. He was a very simple, wonderful, complicated genius, but still he's a simple soul in a way. Wow, he, I mean, he had so many things, so many balls in the air, if you will. And uh, amazing how he balanced all those and managed to uh, focus on each one of them in its time. I fondly remember his meeting Walt Disney once when I was a teenager uh, visiting Disneyland, and I saw him walking through the park. And, of course, I knew what he looked like because he introduced his television show in those days. And so I, uh, I went up to him and asked for his autograph, and he politely declined. He said uh, when he started signing autographs, he got this huge crowd around him, and he never got his work done. So um, he uh, told me to write him at the studio, and he'd send me his autograph, and I did, and he did, and I still have it today. Forty-five years ago, I came here to start the archives, and one of my first jobs was to actually inventory Walt Disney's offices, which had been closed up. Um, since his death in 1966.